I hate buying, I don't hate buying presents, but people are not honest if you get them a bad present. They don't say, I don't like it. So you, you keep getting them bad presents every year. You can tell when someone doesn't like a present, they make that noise. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Piece of shit! <laughs> well, the other dead giveaway, if someone doesn't like the present, they tell you what they're going to do with the present. Oh, a jumper. Oh, I'll wear that. <laughs> A weird thing to do with it. <laughs> Just buy books. That's what I get people. I was at the bookstore the other day. You know, in the shelves, and this bloke was looking like that. <laughs> I wanted to get by. I thought, hey, am I supposed to walk past there? So I look. <laughs> His bum was sticking out like that. <laughs> what, am I supposed to do tunnel ball underneath? <laughs> Crawl around that. Oh, excuse me, right? Don't <laughs> As you did that to a stranger when you walked by, you ever think of stuff like that? G'day, mate, how you What are you doing? Shut up, you loved it. <laughs> you know when someone's looking at the books and you've got to walk in front of someone? You do that polite quick step. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> it's no quicker than going like that. It's the same speed. <laughs> I was sitting home the other night watching my own DVD. <laughs> it was a bit of a sad night, that was. I'd never watched it before. I started to enjoy it. I think at one point I went, oh, that's clever. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's not right. Some bloke came up to me the other day. He was from Spain or somewhere. He went, Carl, I learned my English. It sounds Indian, but... <laughs> Can't do Spanish accent. I learned my English from watching your DVDs. Oh, mate, you're in trouble. <laughs> Couldn't get away from him. You know, we have one of those conversations just going on and on, and you think, how are we going to end this? There's a magic word that ends, that gets you out of all conversations, and the word is anyway. <laughs> it's magical. You know when someone's talking, and you're waiting for a gap to talk, and you think, there's no gap. <laughs> this arsehole's not even breathing. And you find a small gap and go, uh, anyway, better get going. <laughs> get you out of all the shit. It's like the Greenpeace, the, the Greenpeace people in the street, you know, they want you to save the trees and all that. Back in the old days, they used to stand there and they go, excuse me, have you got a minute? <laughs> it's amazing how busy you feel when you see those people. Oh, excuse me, oh no, mate, I've got to get going. <laughs> I've got a loaf of bread to get really quickly. They get all tricky, they start walking with you. Hey, how you doing? Did you follow me, eh? What did one say the other day? Do you like trees? Said, nah, mate, I hate them, Mel. Yeah, I do like trees. Huh? I like bushes, you know, not trees. I had a sandwich and this Greenpeace girl just come up and she went, hey, what's on the sandwich? I said, dolphin. <laughs> Uh, oops, sorry, dolphin burp. <laughs> 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 Gee, pissed off.